ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the true final episode of Mega Man the Power Battle. I almost said Rock Man the Power Battle because guess what we have here? The Neo Geo Pocket Color. By the way, this series is on the Switch. I'm not so sure about the PS4 or Xbox. I do know it's on the Switch where a bunch of Neo Geo Pocket Color games were, uh, were released. Unfortunately, Sonic Neo Geo Pocket has not been released, and I'm kind of a little peeved about that, but everything else was. But we're going to go ahead and show off the Neo Geo Pocket Color version of Mega Man the Power Battle here. And it's all in Japanese, because it is Japanese-based. It was Japanese only, uh, of course. So, I don't know what that means. Like, I can't read any of that. Uh, this green, I believe, was the options menu. Yes, it was. Uh, I'm just going to leave the level as it is. This is time. This is your controls, A and B. Uh, your sound test, and I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's a trading option, but it's not available in this version of the game. I have no idea what this is. This is just Dr. Light just talking about colors. Uh, and apparently, I guess, I guess this might be a collection of sorts or something. I don't know. But we're going to go into the nitty gritty. The main game right here. And I can see we choose between base, proto, and mega. You know what? It is, it is mega man to power battle. Let's go ahead with mega up here. As you see, nice little eight bit sprites here. I want to bring your attention to Mega Man sprite up there. Like, what the fuck is that face? Like, that is that is bootleg shit. Matter of fact, all these sprites look like they're fucking like Mega Man bootleg series. Okay, so Mega Man, let's go with a seven here because we're about to. We need to go to. Uh, there we go. You can see, like, looks really great on a Neo Geo pocket color here. Soundtrack is very limited, though, for the system, and the sound, of course, is just like 8 bit. Uh, I think in this one, you just have to select which one you want. And then you're pretty much fighting. It's basically Mega Man who looks like he's an 8 bit. Destroying uh, Shade Man, who is also in 8-bit form. Ah, damn it. Win! Not sure what that says. You got new weapon, Crash Noise. Which Mega Man was that sound, uh, Was that from? Uh oh. Freeze, man! Freeze, man! You're being arrested. See, in this version of uh, Power Battle, Freeze Man got his attack off before uh, anybody before uh, he did in the arcade version. Freeze Cracker, of course. Slash Man once again here. Ah! Thank you. Now, in this case, like in the arcade version, or at least in the Switch's case, there was a separate button that you can use to switch out the uh, weapons that you want. However, in this one, if you want to switch out your weapon, you have to press pause. You have to press something. You have to be perfectly standing still. Yeah, that's what it was. You have to be standing still for that. And then you just hit the A button on the screen there. Freeze Cracker. You can see Crash Noise Freeze Cracker. That's your buster. Got him. Ooh, that was really close. Mega Man with his 8-bit sprite. 
it is a 16-bit system, technically speaking, but the artwork and the sound just looks... It tends to reflect more 8-bit, but this is definitely more, uh, 16... Uh, this is definitely a 16-bit system. Slash Claw! Ah, 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 he said it! Junkman is next. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Where are you, junk man? Beautiful. Where are you? Oh, you got the junk shield enabled. Damn it. Come on, junk man. Damn. Should have jumped. That's fine. Whoops. Keep up rolling with Mega Man here. Just a little bit further to go. Oh, how does he have iframes on that? Thank you. Fucking finally. Holy smokes. Nice. Nice time. Junk shield, yeah, that shield better fucking protect. Junk man up, or not junk man, cloud man up next. There we go. Too hot. I press jump on that one. Sweet. Done. Thunder Strike. And our last robot master for the Neo Geo. Turbo! right there. Look out for the burn wheel. There we, there we go. Jump too late for that one. There we go. A little back and forth again. Beautiful. Turbo Man. That was pretty simple this time. That was definitely easier than Junk Man. Once again, we are facing off against the pumpkin, and we have to let the pumpkin... We have to aim for the purpleness of the pumpkin. Come on, watch out for the pump... Come on.
Got a bit of a screen crunch issue here with this type of game, but it's a handheld console, so that's kind of expected. Got him. One more battle to go against Dr. Wily himself. Sweet. Woohoo! Watch out. There we go. We got a slide. Playing a nice little game of uh, block. Block it with your face. Just waiting for the attack now. Come on. There we go. Halfway through. There we go. Got him. Nice. Hey, look at that. Mega Man. I captured Dr. Wily. Ain't that great? And of course, you get your ending in Japanese. I'm not sure what it's saying, but let's just go ahead and watch it real quick. Dr. Light has a pipe? Damn, I didn't know he smoked like that. Shit. I smoked a tobacco wacky. And it's just like. <laughs> it's like, sir, sir, Dr. Light, you sure that's tobacco? Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. That's a lot of words. A lot of letters. What was it? Katakana? I think that's what they're called. Oh, I think it's probably like, what? Five, four or five different alphabets? That's an alphabet in Japanese you have to learn separately, if I'm not mistaken. Game over! Yay! You win! Got your brink in there, and there you go. There's your Capcom logo. There. Power Fighter! Okay. Well, that's going to do it for Mega Man. The Power Battle as a series. Next time we do come back to this, it'll be with Mega Man, the Power Fighters, Rock Man 2, the Power Fighters for the arcade, and for the Neo Geo. That's going to be in our game for another time. Until the next one. Do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.